Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are going to be talking about a Minecraft mod that has released for 1.19 and it will obviously be updated to 1.19.1 when that releases as this is obviously most useful in 1.19.1 that releases tomorrow. The main feature in 1.19.1 is obviously LA duplication but the thing that we're going to be covering obviously today is chat reporting. Chat reporting is obviously something that Minecraft have added and it seems like they're going ahead with it obviously a lot of people have complained pretty much most of the minecraft community have complained at the moment there's no way or there is a way to get around it and that is what we'll be covering today i haven't really looked into it that much um i will look into it more once it releases and try and understand it a bit more but there is actually been a mod that is released if we quickly just quit our game i do actually have it as it is actually out for 1.19 it's called no chat reports and it's for 1.19 forge and fabric and when 1.19.1 releases it will actually disable the ability of minecraft logging your information if we really jump to curse forge which is obviously where this mod can be downloaded from this will be linked in the description if you do want to download the mod as you can see it's a mod that basically removes signatures or bypasses them due to an exploit within the chat reporting feature and as of 1.90.1 it also disabled chat reporting or player chat reporting so as you can see this is basically what it does and how it works you can have it on your client if you run or own a server you can have it on the server only or you can have it on both now obviously a lot of people would only use this on client so only you have to have it the server doesn't have to and client will refuse to send accounts public key to the server and signatures will be stripped from the messages that you send so basically it won't be able to keep track of you sending the messages and there is a video here that explains it a lot better which i have watched and it's actually very useful this will once again be linked in the description as it's a very good video to watch to understand how all this works as it's a lot of confusing stuff that goes on obviously behind the scenes and it's obviously good to understand what's going on here as it's not a very easy and simple thing to understand but if you actually do download this mod it will bypass the chat reporting feature to a concept to an extent there are some limitations which as you by just looking at this servers uh, where is it uh, servers will relay them yet unless enforced secure profile option is set to true in server options in which case it will not let you join so there is ways for servers to not let you join if you have this mod if you have it on the server as you can see there's some things that it lets you do and if you have it on both client and server then there is also some things so let's now quickly just talk about how you download this as not a lot of people know how to install mods so let's quickly just cover that so first thing you need to go to this website this will be linked in the description and this is the website for forge if you obviously want to install fabric then the fabric website will be linked in the description as well so you want to go to the version number you want to install which in this case it's 1.19 when 1.19.1 releases it will probably be that and you just want to click installer upon clicking that it will download it if this does come up you just want to at the very top here click skip do not click anything else on your screen just wait until it says skip you've got to wait i think five ten seconds and then it will come up skip and then it will actually ask you where you want the file to save in this case i'm saving it to my desktop so it the name of it is right there i just click save and that will now save it to my desktop if you want to install fabric then once again this website will be linked in the description down below where you can do exactly that and you want to install the fabric loader which you can download right here this you don't actually need to pick a version for because the versions are within the actual download so you just want to download it for windows or jar i actually download it for windows because obviously that's what i'm using and once again you'll be given this screen you might not always be given this screen sometimes it will automatically download it to where your downloads go in most cases it's into your downloads file but in this case i actually get to choose where i want it which once again we're going to have it go into desktop now when you're actually on this screen as you can see i have my forge and my fabric you want to double click this if it's a jar uh, if it's a jar file you want to double click it if not you want to right click and open with 
and then you want to find Java. It's If it's not there, click more apps and it should be here somewhere. You want to run it with Java. Once you've done that, you will be given this little screen here, which you want to install client and then click OK. And you'll be given this actual screen where it obviously installs things. And then once this is actually finished, once this green bar at the very top here is done, you will be able to just click OK, which will quickly just wait for it to be done. As you can see, you will be given this pop up once it is finished downloading, saying it's successfully installed. You just want to click OK and then everything will close. Now let's go for Fabric. Once again, you want to double click this file, which will open up the Fabric downloader. And this is different. You want to make sure you have a client selected. And you now want to install the version you want, which in this case it's 1.19.1 or 1.19. You, in your case, it might be 0.1. This you just want to leave as the most recent. And then you want to click install. So once you've actually done that, as you can see, it says it has been successfully installed. Now you actually want to install the mod you want, which obviously in this case, it's going to be no chat report. To do that, you find the mod you want, which CurseForge is the best place to find mods. You go to files and you now want to look for the file you want. So as you can see, this is for 1.19 Forge or 1.19 Fabric. Both Forge and Fabric, when you install the mods, you want to put them in the same place. So in this case, we're going to show off Fabric. So let's install the Fabric version. You'll be given this screen once again. And in four seconds, it will automatically download it to where your downloads go. Or you'll be given the option to choose where it goes once again, like I have. Now, you actually want to, once you've installed it, you want to go to where your mods are folder is or your Minecraft folder. The best place to get that is click Windows and R or your Windows key and R. And then type in this command, percentage app data percentage. Upon clicking OK, you'll actually open up this screen right here, which is where all your actual like files are stored. You want to click on .minecraft. If it's not at the top, it might be at the bottom. Then once you're in your .minecraft file, you want to scroll down to where it says mods. If this is your first time actually installing mods, you want to either run a modded version, so either Forge or Fabric, or you want to just create a new folder within this and call it mods. In this case, I don't have to because I already have it. Now, once you have actually found this file, you just want to drag your mods into this, which as you can see, I have done. And once upon running your game next time, these mods will be installed. As you can see, I'm now on the Minecraft launcher. And if I go here, as you can see, I have 1.19 Fabric and 1.19 Forge. If they do not show up within this list, you need to go to installations. You need to click new installation. And first of all, you want to make sure you actually have modded up here ticked. If this is not ticked, they will not show. As you can see, my modded versions right here disappear when I untick that. So you want to make sure that is ticked. You then want to click here and you can name this whatever you want. So in this case, we're going to name it fabric and you can also give it whatever icon you want. So let's give it, I don't know, a redstone block. And then you want to scroll through this and find the uh, 1.19 forge or fabric depending on what one you actually got as you can see the fabric is right at the top sometimes that forge versions can be right at the bottom but they can also be mixed within all of these so you just have to scroll through if you're having trouble finding it the best thing to do is untick both of these and only keep the modded part and then as you can see, it's only mods that are here and some snapshots, which in that case, it makes it a lot easier to find what you're looking for. So let's say we want to make a new actual thing for fabric. Let's just call it fab and let's set this block. You don't have to change this block if you don't want to. You can just leave it as the furnace. But in this case, we're going to change it to bedrock. Then you want to click create. And if we now go back to play and go to this bar, as you can see, if we scroll down, it will be here somewhere. It's normally put some at the bottom. Yes, as you can see, fab. And that is now a 1.19 fabric loader. All we need to do now is click play. You might get this screen if you haven't really messed with mods before. And this is basically just saying that modded isn't Minecraft. It's not like made by Minecraft. So it don't support player safety features or it might not support. You can just click play or if you want to read about it, then you can. Or you can also click I understand the risks that don't warn me again. 
but you just want to click play and it will launch your game as if you were playing a vanilla game. As you can see, Minecraft Forge has now loaded. It says warning Forge beta. If you want to confirm that your mods are in your mods folder, obviously you can check down there it says free mods, but you can also click mods and it will actually list your mods right here. As you can see, we have Minecraft vanilla, we have Forge, and we also have no chat reports. And then upon obviously loading a world, your mods will be within that world. The best thing if you actually have mods to add things to the game, create a new world just to avoid corruption. But if you have a mod like what I have, it's then obviously you don't really need to create a new world as it don't add much nothing it just obviously alters what your game does upon playing multiplayer or single player so as you can see we are in the world and we still actually have the mod installed but i'm now going to quickly just join my server just to show you what actually happens it actually says that it's incompatible with it but if we join it it should still let me in due to it's only a client side mod and as you can see i'm now in the server with the actual mod installed which obviously is pretty cool and now it will not send any of my things to the server which will obviously once chat reporting releases it will obviously just overwrite that which is what a lot of people want to happen so if you did enjoy this video do leave a like and subscribe once again check out that video that is linked on curse forge it will be linked in the description as well as that explains it a lot better than I can and they go into detailing of how everything works behind the scenes of obviously the chat reporting and stuff like that but if you did enjoy this video on how to install mods for 1.19 and also the chat reporting thing then leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time bye